Don't wake me up just to break me down. Um, we then got the final uh, viral video of the little boy and the girl doing their homework or something. Yeah. And then it ended now, and then it all went black, and then there was an earthquake in the arena. And then Chris Jericho came back in a jacket with fairy lights on it. He's like a Christmas tree. Yeah, very much so. Um, so yeah, the crowd went the crowd went m- m- mental, yeah. and he came out high fives and smiles and jumping up and down and pumping the fists and yeah, really going over the top. And he did this for about six or seven minutes. Until the crowd eventually started to turn on him. At which point he jumped about even more and was loving it. Yeah. And it was it was it was the greatest segment in the history of Raw. It really was brilliant. I, I loved it. Yeah, yeah I've, I loved I've it. been I've been up and down on it. I, I was confused at first and then I was like, mm, it's kinda good and then I watched it back two or three times and I was like you know, that gets better every time I watch it. It does. The first time I saw it I, I, I didn't know what to think. Um, because it's at start it was like oh he's he's it, it reminded me of when he came back when he closed on the torch runner man doing the Orton dealy, but the longer it went on, the more apparent it, it became that he wasn't uh there to to be a babyface. I mean I think I talked a few weeks back about how my one of my favorite gimmicks is the insincere babyface heel, who uh like Randy Orton when he uh. Used to give his little uh, shoulder updates and would run down the ring and save JR's hat from <laughs> someone. And, Don't worry, I'll be back in action in three weeks. Thanks for sending me uh, get well soon cards and that. When it's clear he doesn't really care about fans. So I really do like that gimmick. So Jer- Jericho doing that gimmick. Two thumbs up from me. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it was a little video for. Uh www.com which is very funny oh yeah oh that yeah, was brilliant yeah, yeah. With his, lit his jacket up it was, it's a little smile and it's yeah, very funny so where do we think this uh, is going then for next week what's he going to do next week on the show and they're probably I think they should do like a highlight package of his career uh, present it as some kind of like yeah legendary adored nostalgic I think, thing I think they should edit together a video if they have it, it, it right where he where they make it look like it's not an edited together video but it's kind of obvious it is and he, they've pieced together sentences of things he said in the past to make new sentences a la chef being written off of South Park yeah so he just comes out and says yeah baby I'm good to be here in Canada I'd quite like him to do like a like a homecoming parade where he comes out on a float and he has like yeah. a, a brass band <laughs> playing him out, and he comes out and he's throwing sweets, to the <laughs> and there's confetti coming down, and he's smiling, and he's waving to people, and they go around the ring and they drive up, and he just leaves. <laughs> See it? Yeah. Um, but naturally, they'll do some some shit, and I won't care about it already in about a week. I hope you've enjoyed this edition of the Chair Shot Podcast. It was brought to you by loudyspeak.com.